We'll now take you live to our reporter Arya Siddhartha and video journalist Andre Saputra at the AGO building for updates on the case, Arya. Right, so earlier today here at the Attorney General's office, uh, Attorney General Este Burhanuddin uh, added the further two suspects to the ongoing Garuda Indonesia corruption case. And here is the announcement and what he had to say regarding that. Sejak Senin, tanggal 27 Juni 2022, hasil ekspos kami menetapkan dua tersangka baru, yaitu ES, selaku Direktur Utama PT Garuda. Yang kedua adalah SS, selaku PT Direktur PT Mugi Rekso Abadi. So the suspects that the Attorney General named in that announcement are former Garuda Indonesia President Director Emir Shah Satar, as well as former Director of PT Mugi Rekso Abadi, Sutikno Sodarjo. So of course this corruption case concerns the uh, procurement scandal of the 18 Bombardier CRG-1000 aircrafts, the procurement of which were not in line with Garuda Indonesia's uh, standards and procedures in regards to their procurement process. So in other words, these planes were procured without any proper market analysis, nor any planned uh, routes once they were procured, as well as no consideration in regards to the company's current aircraft needs. And further, it was also not approved and not recommended by the um, by Garuda Indonesia's board of directors. So the Attorney General stated that the um, embezzlement has cost the government upwards of 8.8 .8 trillion rupiah, so the, and also the Ministry of State own enterprises, Eric Tohir, who was also present during the press conference, noted that the estimated yearly loss from these uh, planes reached upwards of $30 million. So this is made doubly worse by the fact that most of these planes spend more time on the tarmac than they do in the air. According to former Garda Indonesia Commissioner Peter Gonta, the particular type of Bombardier CRG-1000 that has been procured, most of them could not even land in many of um, Indonesia's airports do to the fact that Indonesia's airports are much shorter than what is required for these types of aircrafts. Add to that the um, mismatch regarding to the uh, market demand for these types of planes, and you have many of these planes where they are right now, which is not flying at all, and thus cost, costing Garuda Indonesia a lot of money by just um, sitting on the tarmac. Of the 142 aircrafts currently owned by Garuda Indonesia, only 63 sorry, only 53 of them are currently um, in operation. So Minister Eric Tohir has since returned 12 of the procured Bombardier CRG-1000 aircrafts back to Nordic aviation capital since uh, last February, in the February of 2021. So meanwhile, the other six are still currently being negotiated for an early termination of their lease contract. So um, during the press conference earlier, the state-owned enterprise minister did uh, say that the current focus of, uh, in regards to this, the Garda Indonesia uh, company is to not only apprehend those that were responsible for the um, embezzlement of uh, regards to the corruption scandal, but also to restructure Garda Indonesia in such a way that the company may be able to be returned to a much more financially healthy state. Uh, here's what the minister had to say in regards to those plans. Ini bukan program seperti istilah kita hanya ingin menangkap. Tetapi yang terpenting bagaimana program ini kita memperbaiki sistem yang ada di perusahaan-perusahaan BUMN dan Kementerian BUMN. Karena kita tahu kalau kita bicara korupsi pasti setiap tahun terjadi. Tetapi kan yang penting bagaimana kita meminimas kasus-kasus korupsi itu dengan sistem yang diperbaiki. Sehingga bisa berjalan kontinu jangka panjang. So that was Minister Eric Tohir in regards to the, uh, his minister's plans for restructurization of Garuda Indonesia. And further from that, he also stated that he plans to cut most of Garuda Indonesia's international routes, preferring to focus on more domestic routes, which is where um, Garuda Indonesia may be able to strive much better. Uh, whether or not these plans come to, uh, come to free, uh, fruition, well, only time will tell. Back to the studio. Arya Siddhartha, thank you so much reporting live from the AGO office in Jakarta.